people get stuck most often with rejection in the sales process? Oh, well, great question. And and I got to prelude that with, I know you don't like to take no for an answer either, but in the sales world, um, it starts with, it's truly really the first category of rejection, Hannah, which is mind blocks. Mind blocks is where most salespeople lose the battle. Um, and a mind block, it was one of the harder categories to discover and sort of culminate uh, many commonalities and common reasons into a category, a typology, that being mind blocks, um, just because it's hidden and you don't think of it. Money is a category. You know, maybe the buyer doesn't have enough money. Sure. Well, that's obvious compensation or something to trade. People know and just intuitively get that a category of rejection involves monetary money, an exchange of goods or services. But they easily overlook that mind blocks, which are those things in our own mind or the mind of our audience, the person we're looking to persuade, and these things will either hold us back, slow us down, or prevent us from going for something or maybe just try something haphazardly. And that's the answer. That's what is most impacting in a negative way salespeople in any industry you can think of. That's the common thread is just, you know, hey, battling my own mind every day to succeed. Will I make it? Am I good enough? Let's say it's time, Mr. or Mrs. Salesman, to ask the buyer for the deal. And, and that's what they're saying in their head. That's what they're hearing. And they do. Well, you know, Hannah, I mean, that's the deal. And I, uh, I hope you take it. And that's not a good close. Um, that And that started in their mind. And mind blocks come out in many forms and that's what folks have to defeat first. 